the major lab for this point up into the weather unit that we're doing is the blue ice lab. We took a look at how different temperatures react differently in the atmosphere due to their densities. The blue ice lab was dealing with convection. Convection was defined as movement of heat through liquid. As you can see here, you have a blue ice cube that has food coloring in it. And when the ice was put into the atmosphere, which is our plastic container, you could see that the ice was cold. It's denser than the water around it, so the blue part of the ice was actually sinking. As you watch this, you can see different patterns of this. As we put in the red water, which rose because it was less dense, we noticed some interesting features that took place. Here you can see a wedge of red water stuck between a layer of blue where it kind of got trapped as it was rising. Here's a good look at the separation of layers of the blue ice that's at the bottom, the denser air that we have to the red water. And as you look here, you see a swirling effect that takes place with the mixing of the two airs together. This takes place during uh, low pressure, high pressure systems. We also see some what are called eddies, as you can see the round circles of red water floating here. So the blue ice is a good indication of the mixing of air, the densities that allow it to separate out in the atmosphere. Colder air goes to the bottom and sinks. Warm air rises. And you get that nice separation as the layers become stable. One of the things that we'll be talking about is how this relates to the pressure in this section.